What up guys, it's your boy Frank Legend and today's video is about Sergio Rasta, his disappearance, rumors about his death, is he alive or is he not alive, is he in Mexico, the allegations, the controversy, his rise to fame. A lot of research had to be put into this video so make sure you stick to the end of the video because there is an actual special update about Sergio Rasta and you know his disappearance. First of all, let's start with who is Sergio Rasta. Sergio Rasta is a famous YouTuber, one of the first YouTube influencers on this site. He was one of the most rising stars back in 2011 when he started making YouTube videos. He was an amazing, charismatic, young boy. He uh, basically you know, rose to stardom because of his YouTube video called Why You Should Date a Mexican. Tell me you ain't looking at this boo right now and thinking, whoop, swat. And that video just blew up. It really did a lot of numbers. Got like 3.4 million views. You know, it really caused him to become one of the biggest stars at the time when there was not too many Latino influencers at all. Just talking to the camera, you know, talking about Mexicans, talking about Latinos, talking about our culture and things like that. He really represented a lot of the Latino YouTubers out there. He had a huge fan base. A lot of people were always watching his videos. When he would drop a video, it would make like 200,000 to 500,000 views in one day. So it was incredible to see that he even actually had one of his videos being Ellen DeGeneres' favorite compilation videos of the Ellen dance there that she did. He was on TV. He, I think he was also on Telemundo and like other Spanish news in Chicago where he was from. So it was an incredible journey for him when he was just only like 15, 16 years old. So he was like around that age when he started blowing up. He made videos with big YouTube stars like Super Ego, Travi Bass, Timothy De La Ghetto, and a bunch of other people as well. This is crazy at such a young age and this is when things started to go bad for him. I've been not getting a lot of heat about some scamming bullshit that I have no f***ing clue about. One of the biggest factors in his depression must have been having a kid at such a young age. I think he was like only 16, 17 when he had his first kid. And wow, like after that you saw like a lot of stuff happening online. He would post about his depression, he would post about his baby moms, he would post about his new girlfriends, he would post about a lot of things. His life was pretty public. He even spoke about him getting stabbed in the head in 2015. He made a vlog about it. He spoke about things like this. He spoke about his weight gain and that even made things worse because when he was talking about his weight, a lot of people, because he had a lot of haters, would start bullying him on Line. His haters were the worst, the worst of the worst. Like they would literally say things that just demean him and made fun of him. They fat shamed him about everything. And no matter how hard he tried, remember that he's only a little boy. He was like 16, 17, 18, and you're bullying this kid. So he lost that motivation, that charisma, that spirit, that joy that he had when he first started making YouTube videos. So his quality went down. I don't know the specifics of what happened next because I wasn't in his life, but if I had to guess, you know, he had money troubles because he started betting online. He started scamming people. There were allegations that he was scamming. There's actual video proof of him on the phone asking one of his fans to give them money and he would give them an electronic, like a laptop or something like that. He actually posted about this on his Facebook, as you can see, and the links are down below. There's a link to our article so you can check out exactly like some of the proof and some of the things that I found, you know, when I was researching this. An article by distractify.com says, uh, as some claim Sergio feigned his death to start a new life in Mexico, a country where he didn't have to confront allegations about his scamming related activities. Others argue that he ended his life in a bid to put an end to the constant fat shaming he faced online. According to Pancho Does It Better, another YouTuber, Sergio committed suicide, Xanax overdose over two years ago. Sergio's family has yet to address these claims. Currently, there is no official information available on the cause of death or the date it took place. So nobody knows. Crazy. People have even done some research on their own on TikTok, on YouTube, and have said that they looked up the obituary in Chicago, which means basically if like they're dead or not. Uh, they don't find his name. His real name is Sergio Trujillo. They don't know if he is actually dead or not. They can't find the information. So he just disappeared off the face of the earth. Some YouTubers are saying that they reached out to, you know, family members and close friends and they confirmed it. But 
Here's what my research says. I looked into his last live stream. So in the last YouTube video that Sergio made in 2018, it's 25 minutes long, but I looked through it and he looks completely high. He is, you know, out of his mind. He looks like he got punched in his right eye. He can't open his eye throughout the whole video if you look at it closely. And then he goes and says that he was hacked in 2015, so that's why the scamming allegations happened. But, you know, he's willing to also sell his Twitter account, which now he has access to it somehow. He goes and then says something very, very important. I want you guys to listen closely. And I could sell you my Twitter if you're from Chicago. We'll meet up in person and uh, we'll make it happen. But yeah, Facebook Messenger, hit me up if you want my uh, Twitter or my YouTube channel. My messenger is not hacked. I can prove it. He says that he has access to his Facebook account and he can prove it. That means he is the only one that has access to his Facebook, which means that only Sergio would be able to change things. And this is super important when it comes to the update that I have for you guys at the end of this video. So check this out. I forgot I was playing this. I'm live. Alright, I'm gonna get off live because you guys are saying stupid ass shit. Here's where it gets really interesting. If you look at his last live stream in 2018, some of the comments there don't add up. I found a comment that said, Hey, Super Ego actually confirmed it in the live stream that Sergio Rasta is dead. So, if you read that comment, all you can really do is believe it or not believe it. I can't believe it because I don't see video proof of Super Ego actually saying this. So we don't know. The only way that you would know is actually asking Super Ego himself if he knows if this is true, if he even said that. Me personally, I've asked Travi Williams, Travi Bass, who collaborated with Super Ego back in like 2013, 2014, around there. Like they collaborated. Because uh, I talk to Travis all the time. He said he has no idea what happened. He doesn't know. Right, so he told me already he doesn't know. And he has Sergio Ross's number, so he would he would know. I've asked other YouTubers around, they don't know either. Nobody knows, it's crazy. And there's no proof in the obituaries. None of the family has confirmed there or there's any proof. There's like this picture of his tombstone and it says, you know, here lies, you know, Sergio Rasta, Sergio Trujillo. Uh, but the date is wrong, it says 1997 and he was born in 96 so it doesn't add up there's a lot of like weird stuff happening here and then if you keep on looking into his comments in that last video that he made uh there's another youtuber called arenas who actually collaborated with sergio rasta there's the thumbnail of the video they made um he wrote this he says he's been keeping the secret a while he wants to make a video about it but that's a year ago and he still has not made a video about it so you would have to ask him what's going on it's really weird because things have just like nobody knows so remember when i told you guys that i have a special update so i do have that special update and this is what it is it was really weird and kind of spooky to see that sergio rasta in his facebook fan page actually updated his bio in 2020 How can you update your bio if you're supposedly dead? That was fucking weird. Cause I was like, whoa, why are people commenting in the status from 2020? Why does the status even exist? And why would this page be updating in 2020? That doesn't make any sense. So, so did his parents go into his profile and change the bio for some reason? That doesn't make any sense. Like why would they need to do that? There's no point in that. The only person that would do that would be Sergio Rostin. So I don't know. So question for you guys, what do you think? What do you think happened? Is he still alive? Is he not alive? Comment that down below because I would really like to know. A lot of fans would like to know. And if you have any proof or idea if he is alive or not, do you have any credible sources from his family, friends, or anybody that you might know in his circle, comment that down below. Help out with this situation because like, it's a mystery. People really want to know. I want to know. Like, is he? I've asked people around. Nobody knows. I've asked YouTube people. They don't know. I reached out to the girlfriend. No response. So there you go, guys. That's all I have to say about this topic. 
Hopefully we can get to the bottom of this. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button up to show your support to this channel and make sure to subscribe if you want to stay and check out more content about Latino culture, about relationships, reviews, gaming. I do gaming every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 9 p.m. New York time, 6 p.m. Cali time. Make sure to hit that bell icon for notifications on always so you guys can see the next time that I live stream either here or on Twitch. I also do Twitch. I really wanted to add my two cents because I saw other people make YouTube videos about this and it was just horrible quality and I felt it was disrespectful to his you know, legacy and his family. Um, I wanted to make a better quality video for you guys and do a little bit more research and more you know, proof of what I found. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to go to the link down below for more information if you want to find out more. Hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great 2021 celebration. We're heading into 2022. It's crazy. We're about to get lit. Frank Legend, we out.